where they go. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, everyone. So, we get right into this dumpster because Mr. Wool has already found some good stuff. And if you guys have any pets, you know, maybe you can check out a couple dumpsters and see if they have any good stuff. Stuff that you might need. You know, stuff that you can save some money if you find it in the dumpster. Uh, we do find a lot of pet food. Dog food, cat food, all kinds of food. So, that's something that you can look out for. And we do find a lot of aquarium stuff too. And we find a lot of stuff, different stuff, so it is a good spot, you know, pet stores, they throw out a lot of things. And as you can see, there's some beef and chicken. Mm. Mr. Wolf's gonna get right in there and figure out what's in these boxes. marketing on it so it looks like some flyers or something like little little cards um we don't really have a use for that i don't know what do you guys think something that we can do with that um if mr volt finds it again because um yeah he's gonna put that in the recycling bin right there so maybe somebody else can find it or it can just go for recycling But let us know if you guys have any ideas for that, like if we find more of that stuff. Not really sure what to do with it, but that's why we got you guys. <laughs> and this dumpster's got a boot on its wheel. <laughs> and a camera inside. So we have been seeing, oh, I don't know what's going on with this dumpster over here. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's like sitting on a mattress over there. I don't know. There's missing wheels and all kinds of stuff. So. Yeah, I think they need some new dumpsters over here. But over here, uh, we did show you a video not that long ago where we found so many lampshades. Yeah, we had like a car full, we had to go back and get more. So, this is more. And so let us know if you guys have seen that video. If you haven't, make sure to check it out. So I'll put a little picture up on the screen. In certain videos, like sometimes we play a little guessing game slash counting game. And I will ask, you know, the viewers to see how many items you can find. But I'm not even gonna attempt to ask you guys how many lampshades are in here because I don't know. There were so many. These are really cute too. They're like a well, little lampshade, but like linen, like type of fabric kind of thing. Um, we did have Sophie draw on some, and I also made one with like some fabric, like that little fabric kind of thing. Of, uh, counting games. <laughs> I owe you guys a winner for our previous, previous video where Mr. Volt had um, a whole palette of these like picture frames. So I had asked you guys, you know, to give us a number of how many boxes there were, and we do have our winner. So congratulations, Ulavi! And um, yeah, that's uh, just a little game that we like to play with you guys. So thank you guys for your guesses and you know, your participation. <laughs> so we didn't get to show you this part right here, but I want to add it in so you guys get to see a little bit more. Mm 
<clears throat> There's still more in there. Oh my goodness, this store. They threw out so many lampshades at me. And most of them weren't even damaged, so that was really nice. There was another time after this that we saw them and a lot of them were damaged so hopefully they didn't start messing them up because a lot of people can still use these and even if they're broken i mean we do our scrapping so mr volt can scrap it too um, but also sometimes we save parts so like a part of one lamp can go towards another lamp, you know, like you see on the screen from the previous dive that I told you, well, this day, um, we found this really beautiful elephant lamp, and it was just missing a little piece too, so we are able to use that. But that happens a lot. Sometimes we find something, and it might be damaged in some way. So we can take the good parts and then later we find like similar items and we can just, you know, swap it out. bags in here so we got some goodies right now some paper napkins some little bags and we love our purple bag so this was a gift from your subscriber Valerie Knight so again thank you the cord finally gave out on it one day and you know Mr. Volt he had extra ones so he was able to repair it. Lots and lots of marshmallows. <laughs> There's Mr. Volt. <laughs> I like when he finds hats and stuff. And he just puts them on on the spot. You can see his shadowing. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> so we're starting to find more Easter stuff now. And again, if you guys have seen our previous videos, you will remember that dumpster completely full of Easter stuff so we did donate most of it and then we kept some like some stuff to make Easter baskets so we will be showing those soon also because you know, we want to give you guys updates on some of the stuff that we find We will put the baskets together and then give you guys an update on that with some donations and more clips for you guys to see. And I just want to mention, you know, we love showing you guys our finds and our donations, um, but we prefer to show like the blessing boxes. You know, we feel like it's less, you know, intrusive if we're not really showing like actual faces you know people when we hand them stuff and it just feels like um you know we're not exploiting you know these people that we donate to 
Um, if they want to be in the video, then that's perfectly fine with us. Um, but we feel personally that we like to do the blessing boxes. You know, we let people know that they can get stuff from there too. And then we donate off camera to, you know, people that need food. Because I know some people, they like that and then some people want to see it. Um, but we just feel like if you're, if you need food and you're going to someone, you know, asking for food, I don't think most people are going to feel comfortable with us putting the camera in their face and saying, you know, here's this food, can you be on our YouTube channel? Like, I don't know, it just, it, it feels uncomfortable. So we don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable about this. So we just want to say, you know, we do donate most of what we find. I mean, the amount of stuff that we find, there's no way that we can keep it. <laughs> We're not going to keep it. So we keep what we need and then we go out dumpster diving again. You know, if we need more, we will go out and find more. But there's no way that we can keep all the stuff that we find. So we try to show you as much as we can. But again, we don't want to, you know, overstep that that boundary of you know, people's privacy and what they feel comfortable with just for you know views on YouTube. But look at there's so much stuff here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, you know, let you guys know about that, but I mean just trust that, you know, these people are very grateful and we are grateful you know, that we're able to find so much stuff and be able to help people. It's amazing and we love it. And we want to thank all of you guys, all of our subscribers, everyone who watches and you know, they, you guys do leave amazing comments and we really do appreciate it. Your support you know, just by watching and being supportive means so much. <laughs> Sophie has a birdhouse and we kept those seeds. So she was out playing in her playhouse and then she started putting seeds in her birdhouse. So she was calling the birds to come eat. <laughs> stuff is open but it's still good like there's some balloons and some decorations and stuff we'll, we'll put it together <laughs> okay i have no idea and i probably should have counted before we donated all this stuff um we kept a few of these sauces for ourselves but they're really good um yeah anybody who can count how many there are <laughs> we'll give you another special shout out in our next video so just in case if i can't figure it out because I have to go back and try to count all these. Um, if I can't figure it out, I'll just give everybody a special shout out. So, leave your comment as to how many bottles of sauce do you think there are in the stomach. And if you get it right, <laughs> or if I get it wrong and can't figure it out, I'll give you guys a shout out. <laughs> Maybe we'll just be like Oprah and you get a shout out, you get a shout out, you get a shout out. Everyone gets a shout out. So these ones, we have never tried these. Um, so since there were so many, what we did is we, we kept uh, one bottle for like each flavor and then we donated the rest. But so far we opened up the beef barbecue sauce and it's pretty good. It's kind of like a teriyaki barbecue sauce. Let us know if you guys have tried this or you know whichever flavors. There's barbecue sauce and then I think there's like a chili sauce. Mr. Holt is carefully trying to lower these bags not to break the bottles. That would be a big mess. <laughs> and 
lots and lots and lots and lots of bread. So much bread. And it's still good. Made some French toast today for breakfast and we used some of the bread mix also. We tried it and it was good. So, Mr. Volt, I think he needs to try this oat milk. I think it was oat milk. Found some in our last video. But yeah, that's kind of tearing the bag a bit. Sometimes we will find these sausages. Sausages. <laughs> sausages. And, um, <laughs> yeah, they're really good. Usually we find like the regular kind. Um, this time we found regular and jalapeno. So we have our Ninja air fryer that we found from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. Brand new, amazing. So we put some sausages in there and then it cooks it really good. And magic, they all appeared in the blessing box. Some bread, barbecue sauce, candies, marshmallows, napkins. We have noticed that the blessing boxes have been super empty lately, so I think we're gonna have to keep on going out there and finding more stuff. So there's lots of different kinds. If you guys aren't able to donate, then that's perfectly fine. Um, you can also organize the blessing boxes. That also helps too. And of course, make sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and have a great day. Bye.